Nkosingi kulegela Humusungu sisa Agungu sise pamgwe zisa zami pamgwa banda banga mfise lo ule uguze batite genge mpilo yami Agungu suli nye mbeze nkle zingi zikale mini na sepsugu uguze nkale legu ya gampu melelo Agungu figi mpu melele mpilo nyami mfusi kaya nko nubegi singwe tafle ni nchablise umte ni pesgwe mpilo yami Bokoko Incha bulo yami yokala Agen kale nchablise mina uguze nchablisa banyabantu Ngobi nchabulo kumeli kale gmina ngoba ngumzugulu ganyi ngisugulu anisenu Himpilo, himnandi manisla nganyi lange mpilo yami Uguze ngusi sege Hi guys, I'm Sunshine and welcome back to my YouTube channel I really hope you guys enjoy it here today Today's video is a vloggy vlog But it's also the last pediatrics filled work I am overjoyed, I am overexcited, I am just happy, happy guys, happy. But today we're actually going to a school that is that specializes in children with CP. So we have to do tone assessments and uh, muscle tone assessments on the kids. Um, you guys already know the drill, I do not show um my placements i don't show my patients i don't show the kids i don't show that um i can't do that because at the end of the day i am trying to obtain a degree in occupational therapy but i'm also trying to be a very professional ot student um and that goes against the um, what the, the ethics laws um filming and doing stuff i have to ask for permission i have to do this i it's too much work <laughs> it's too much work to film and no i just want to be a student guys <laughs> i'm just a student that presses record please i beg um so and also for those that really don't know in ot we do block learning so we are different from all the other health science um Okay, I'm not sure if other health science degrees do what we do um, at UWC when we do the block learning, block learning method, which is basically that we have one module every, well, we do one module at a time. So right now we're focusing on pediatrics. The next module that we're going to be focusing on is neurology, right? Then the next module is psych. Then the next module is trauma disease, jalo, jalo, jalo. So right now we literally close to the end of uh, pediatrics. I'm quite excited because honestly, I don't see myself in the field of pediatrics at all. I don't envision myself um, doing pediatrics as even in the future, I don't envision myself. I envision myself either doing neuro or trauma and disease or the law side of ot so the law side of ot obviously has that's where the money is at that's where the money is at but i'm in a loophole either i choose my passion being hospital um life or the law side of ot hmm, which is the money side which means that i'll get my range over before the age of 30 um i'm not sure <laughs> i'm not sure so i still have a good I still have a long way to decide either I'm going to do trauma and disease OT or neuro OT or the money side of OT, which is the law side of OT. I'm still indecisive, <laughs> but yeah, that's just, that's just, just to, I, I think I should have explained this in the beginning when I started the first week. So you guys can know, see when I say I'm doing my exams, it's not, don't be surprised because I will. Why are you doing exams now when they're supposed to be doing exams in June? We're doing block learning. So it's almost the end of this module called pediatrics, which is like pediatrics OT. Um, then the next module is going to come like that, like that. So please don't get confused, guys. Don't get confused. It's part of OT. I mean, it's part of OT. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go there right now to field work. But I'm going to go to campus and study for a bit um i do have an exam my final exam in ot uh, for pediatrics for pediatrics and then the module is over then it's holidays then we focus on neurology i think yeah the next one is neurology or psych something child so now my head is still my head is looking forward to the easter holidays so please <laughs> yeah so that's that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna go to field work and then 
um later on i'm gonna go study at the library and then yeah i'm just gonna study for my exam so yeah guys please do not forget to subscribe like this video and comment um yeah guys let's get right into this video <laughs> hey guys so this is what's this otd so this is from mr price this is also from mr price one thing about mr price they literally need to sponsor me because each and every single outfit is from mr Fi mr price there's no way guys um i literally have 24 hours until my paper um which is tomorrow and yeah i have to quickly do a few stuff on campus i'm running a little bit late but um nevertheless i'll still get that done but this is how i look yes yes do you guys approve la prova ma he cute okay sure if he cute <laughs> but i think i'm cute <laughs> i've heard it all our conversations got me feeling i'm the fool like i should have listened when they said that you would treat me like he did mm -hmm. yeah. oh, don't think you care about me oh girl i care about you Nobody, please. Nobody, please. Situation makes 
me feel I'm not a man at all Said I did it all Situation makes me feel I'm not a man at all No You're probably thinking I ain't worth shit But I never want anyone to bring you any harm And I take it all back just to have you in my arms I know for a fact who you are into we are Yo guys like honestly I feel like crying because yo I feel like God is working over time like he's literally working over time and he's making sure that my prayers will be answered It's currently it's currently 10 half past 10 um it's currently half past 10 office hours are done uwc is closed tell me why am i getting my proof of registration at half past 10 today if i tell you the story let me tell you a backstory on friday my i was this whole time let me be honest with you this whole time i was not a registered student and I did not make an excuse. I did not make an excuse. I attended all the classes. I, I participated in all the... Cool. I did not make, as I said, I was not making any excuse. I participated in every assignment that I had. I attended every class, every lecture. This whole semester, well, this whole term, I've only been absent from class once. This whole this whole term i've only been absent once and um yes i've been late to class a couple of times but i've always made sure that i showed up no matter what guys i was not registered this whole time this whole time my lectures were like you can still attend classes you can still do tests and assignments um but you need to process you to register my exam is tomorrow at nine o'clock and my lecture sent me a message on friday saying that they would not allow me to actually write this exam if i'm not registered today as i was saying today right now half past 10 kabusi at night god was like my child i will not fail you my child i will not fail you you will go to that exam and write do you understand how I was studying for a test that I didn't even know that I was going to be allowed to even write this test. Friday, Friday, I studied, no, I started studying on sets on Thursday. Thursday, Friday, call, sharp, Monday and today. I've been studying for an exam where the whole day my mind has not even been on this exam. So I'm just like, how do I study for something that I don't even know if I'll be able to write it? only due to the fact that i'm not a registered student but to god but today god was like no no regardless of what uwc is closed it's it's not even office hours i got just to say good tea my test my exam is tomorrow at nine o'clock and god was like i will make sure that everything i will make a way and i am the lord of all miracles do not be demotivated my child because i have a plan for you and god was like against all odds give a registration letter i don't know how guys i don't know who who has my back what happened how it's it's half but literally i got this email at half past ten like like right now what time is it it's 49 right now literally in 19 minutes 19 minutes ago i got an email saying that i have registered proof of registration then i got another email of my student student timetable then he says as a registered yeah. hey y'all so today's the day of my exam i don't know i'm feeling a little bit chilly I am very, very, very exhausted. Um, yeah, I'm about to pray right now. And yeah, I'm just about to pray. 
um the lot has been amazing and i feel like uh, yeah i just definitely need to pray before i leave so i can give him thanks and also to make sure that he can provide me with the knowledge um to make sure that i pass this exam but yeah this is what i'm wearing today honestly um basic basic all gray and then uh, sneakers there um yeah let me quickly pray up um yeah I see you eating chicken, I see you smoking weed, I see you drinking and making, actually, you're barely making music. I'm gonna need you to drop more songs, because Dead Man Walking was not satisfied, I was not satisfied with it because I had already heard it before, and I'm gonna need you to drop a whole album this new year, 2021. I expect more from you. This is ridiculous. It is very ridiculous. So, you need to reset. Message deleted. Hey guys, so I just came back from writing my exam. Honestly, I wrote what I knew <laughs> once again. 
<laughs> I went when I knew. Um, I know the question one. Yeah, it shepherd everyone. It child everyone. Question one. But nevertheless, that's all done. We're done with the pediatrics module. As I told you earlier on in this vlog, the SOTs we do block learning. I'm not sure about other health science students, but I know that us we do block learning. So the next module is neuro, and I think also that will be combined with psychology. Not psychology, psych in particular um but just an update i painted out my registration okay obviously i did um i did what's this cancel my id and my student number so because those are the most important things so i don't want not that i don't trust you guys just that i just had to like blur those things out but yeah i just went to go print out my registration proof of registration and yeah man just to show that there's a living god you know there's a living god at the most moment that i wanted god to show up for me he did that you know i think this vlog just is a testament of god's timing and at the perfect most perfect time guys just before Maybe just about 10 hours before my exam, I get my registration, proof of registration. And that led me to being able to write my exam. Guys, this is just... Today, it just made my day, man. It just made my day. And honestly, I wrote the best that I could. Um, and you know, when you write, good, you know what, God, thank you so much for being able to be here. You know, like I was so grateful, so blessed. And I just want to say this, like guys, no matter what, do not make any excuses. I did not make a single excuse. Being a unregistered student, I still attended my classes and I said, <laughs> I said this on Instagram that I only missed one, one class for thinking term one. I only missed one, 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 one class. And that's when I was like really sick and I was really not feeling my best. Yes, I've not been punctual and I want to be punctual in semester two. Well, not semester two, but term two. I really want to be punctual, but at least I made it to class. You know, as much as I missed class for one, time and i was able to go to school every single day and yes sometimes i was late i get it i was late but Osalaya, guys, i made it to class <laughs> Osalaya. turn two honestly what i'm really looking forward to is being punctual for class being early being on time showing up for myself again what i did no matter what situation i was in not making an excuse because you know what sometimes you don't have transport you don't have this i can walk to campus and take a shuttle you know what i mean if the shuttle left leaves me i can take a time taxi a 20 run taxi to the Balvo campus and go to class if there's no option so like i'll walk i'll walk to, to class there's you know don't make excuses no excuse this year i don't want to make any excuses i'm just focusing on my school and i hope this can motivate someone regardless of what i was not registered guys i was not registered i attended every single class i did every assignment i did every test and i was dedicated to make sure that i'm not going to make any excuses for failure and that's what exactly that i did i did not make any excuse to slack in anything and it just showed good so you know what hard work pays off and then god paid me off by sending my proof of registration on time but i would do you wanna like god can just make you wait the last last like i was so stressed as much as like the whole time i was not really focused on the exam i was just good to see how am i studying for exam that i'm not even sure i'll be allowed to write because as i said the previous day i got an email for my lecture that i won't be able to write this exam if i do not show proof of registration and i was just like yeah yeah god i need you right now and just before i was about to sleep god was like ashi you're about to give up studying as she wake up baby girl wake up and study go and study and literally from that email it just gave me some sort of energy a booster man but yeah guys i just wanted to say that i'm gonna put this i'm not sure if i want to put it on the wall because it's gonna make my wall ugly but this this is just a testament that god is a living god 
but for me baby sunshine i'm ending this vlog i do see all the comments i do see all the love i really do appreciate you guys and yes i'm trying to make my vlogs longer as requested um i hope you guys have a beautiful 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 easter weekend for me i want to take a break and there's something excited coming so watch out for the next vlog it's something really really excited so just look forward to the next vlog like you know something to like oh man i can't wait but anyway for me baby sunshine already <laughs>